So everyone, all right. So for this dungeon, it will be for the Boo Wolf dungeon, or it's a Boo Wolf dungeon in the quest here. And I'm not even 100% sure I'm doing the right dungeon, but there is no other dungeon that could be this at level 80. So I think it's Lunar Altar. So yeah, Boo Wolf dungeon here, but scoreboard, but Lunar Altar for the real name of the dungeon, right? So for this dungeon, thanks you for uh, to Method Wakfu again for this. They have a guy on it, so I'm gonna just follow it uh, for translated as always for when I have guide for that. So uh, there is the boss, the Big Moon. She give 200 uh, resistance to a 400 resistance and 30% damage to the uh, all her allies, so the monsters. If she has Wakfu point, right? If she's full of Wakfu point. And uh, she also, when she's full, she give 200 armor uh, to everyone. I think, well, basically when she's full of Waku point, right? Uh, I, each it, it she receive, she will uh, make appear a fragment on the floor that you need to destroy. When you destroy it, she lose one Waku point. So to remove our passive here, the first one, uh, uh, the sec well, the first one here, the 400 resistance and 30 damage, I think she has to reach zero waku point and uh, yeah let's keep, let's read here so she gave armor when she uh okay oh it does not say here Okay. Each time you destroy a fragment, she loses one waku point. When she reaches zero, the she will deactivate, and the monster will lose the passive. All right, so the resistance thing. And then uh, also, if you don't destroy a fragment, they will explode in a we of two around them, but remove one waku point to her as well at the end. So that will count as well. You don't need to destroy them if you want, and she will get one waku point every, every turn. And uh, she will lose the Waku point before the gain. So if she reach zero Waku point during her turn, it, she will not uh, do the passive. Once she's back to full of Waku point, uh, she will reactivate and the passive will, will come back. But yeah, the, the way I understand is she, at the beginning, she will cast the first passive here that give resistance and damage increase. And you have to reach zero at full point, so she remove it to everyone, and or she might not start with seven waku point anyway. Uh, from what I see, she would need to reach seven waku point first. Ah, that's weird. I don't know. Whatever. Let, let's go. Let's go and see. for him but yeah let's try to destroy one fragment it does not show HP on the fragment Okay, the fragment appeared next to me. 
Or maybe not. Can I really target it or it just explode? I feel like it might not be targetable anymore. Oh yeah, it is. It just does not show as a... So she lost two Waku point. So the protection will be lost the next turn? Or it, you have to reach zero. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. I wonder how much damage they do. We'll see, because there is a bunch. point she gave the the passive again oh yeah it's true like I just said we have to remove the it's level two because she has no she has four could have done better than this kind of done what I just did here whatever like there is enough fragment for me to uh, to remove the waku point it's just they're not well placed Okay, do they lose the passive? All right, now they're back to normal. Why is this guy so resistant?
Oh, fragment, take two turns to explore or what? So yeah, it did count for the quest. What? It did count. Okay, so you can see I received my... Mudzulux here. Mudzulux token. Only eighty three. Yeah, okay. At this level, it's only eighty three million. Okay. All right. So that's it for this dungeon. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye.